And staying with the rollout of the new medical insurance scheme, there is immense controversy. From low reg uh, registration by Kenyans, less than 5% budgetary allocation by the government, to questions of transparency in a crucial technological system tender, it can never get more disconcerting for a program that is a matter of life and death, literally. Telecommunications giant Safaricom Limited is leading a three-member consortium in a project that was awarded through direct procurement. Watch. The Social Health Authority has been structured to manage three funds, the Primary Health Care Fund to be funded by the government to the tune of 50 billion shillings, the Social Health Insurance Fund, whose target is to raise at least 148 billion shillings every year through members' contributions, and the Emergency, Chronic and Critical Illness Fund that requires at least 75 billion shillings every year. The current year's budget, however, only allocates 6.1 billion shillings for the government-funded funds, 4.1 billion for the primary health care fund, and 2 billion shillings for the emergency, chronic and critical care fund. And so as the government rolls out on Tuesday next week, SHA is starting off with a budget gap of 119 billion shillings, with no details how much shift we raise given the low uptake by registration. The means testing instrument that was meant to determine how much households without formal employment were going to contribute is not ready, with details that it has serious errors that overstate how much families should pay. The desired integrated healthcare information technology system is also not ready. The Social Health Authority has no employees, with the law explicit that NHIF staff can only be enlisted through a competitive recruitment process. Just last week, President William Ruto caused changes in the Social Health Authority, dropping Dr. Timothy Olwen, who had steered the preparatory phase since November 2023. In his place, Dr. Abdi Mohammed, who had been a member of the board, was elevated to chairmanship. Dr. Olwen is now the board chair at the National Cancer Institute. The Ministry of Health says nearly 2 million Kenyans have registered or applied to be registered. The target is 50 million Kenyans or 12 million households. In our details have emerged of plan to develop a new healthcare information management system and a consortium that will cost 104 billion shillings. The consortium comprises Safaricom Limited, Apeiro Limited and Convergence Network Solution Limited. Details from the Registrar of Companies show that Apeiro Limited was registered on the 5th of July several months after the search for a system began. Na hii apero ni kampuni ambaye imesajiliwa kule warabuni Dubai ama Abu Dhabi. Kusema kwamba imekuwa registered hapa Kenya ni kwamba baada hiyo kama kampuni ndaka kuendelea kufanya biashara hapa Kenya kulingana na, na sheria zetu za uh, kusajili makampuni ni lazima pia wajiandikisha hapa Kenya. In a statement, Safaricom Chief Executive Officer Peter Ndegwa indicated that the Integrated Healthcare Information Technology System, IHDS, would cost 104 billion shillings, recoverable over a period of 10 years. Convergence ni kampuni hapa Kenya, na nisisi wa Kenya hapa ambaye, pia Safaricom aliona kwamba kwa sabi ile kazi wanafanya, waje pamoja wafanya kazi yo, kwa sabu, hawangeza kufanya, Safaricom hawangeza kufanya zile model zote, wangeitaji, uh, Safaricom and the two companies are required to deliver healthcare information exchange, a system that will allow health facilities to share patient records. The consortium is required to develop and roll out standard-based integrated hospital management information system in partnership with the Ministry of Health and county governments. The consortium will also deliver technology to digitize the supply chain of health products that ensures visibility of both pharmaceutical and non-pharmaceutical products across the country. This is to enable traceability of medicine to patients. The consortium will then support training of public health officials on the system, support the project management, and be involved in the on-ground rollout of various technologies. Reports indicate that senior officials at some of the members of the consortium were opposed to venturing into the multi-billion shilling project due to the procurement process followed while also being cautious that it's not a key competent area for the firms. National Assembly's health committees have so far been unable to access details of the deal 
or even the justification as to why it was secured through direct procurement. Sometimes when you're procuring a service that has some challenges that cannot easily be found in the market, then you apply and once permission has been granted for direct procurement, then you go through that method. The Public Procurement and Disposal Act emphasizes preference for competitive bidding of services, limiting direct procurement to instances of when only the said supplier has the said goods or services, or maybe due to war, invasion, disorder, and other unique circumstances. But it is the details of the ownership of the members of the consortium that is telling. Safaricom Limited is controlled by the government at 35% of shareholding. Vodafone Group has a 39.93% stake. Apero Limited, the other member of the consortium, is wholly owned by a company called SIH Africa Limited. SIH Africa Limited is owned by two persons of Indian descent, Aswant Bindu from India and Nishant Mishra from Kenya. Rufus Miner is a director at SIH Africa without shares. Miner and Aswant are also directors at Apero Limited, now working with Safaricom. The other directors are notable names, Indian Indar Deep Singh Verde and Kenyan Judy Mwende Gatabaki. Convergence Network Solution Limited is owned at 90% majority by Convergence Holding Company, a holding company that was registered in May 2023. The remaining 10% of stake is split between Pitfield Auto Limited and Abdullahi Abdesheikh, who also owns the holding company. Issa Sheikh Mohammed a Kenyan is a director of the May 2023 registered company. As such, the register of companies reveals that Dorothy Kiprono owns Pitfield Auto Limited, which controls 5% stake at the Convergence Network Solution Limited. At the Convergence Holding Company, two Kenyans, Issa and Abdullah Abdi Sheikh, also own a combined 1,000 shares. Two other Kenyan firms, Comtech Consortium Limited and Galva Investments Limited, own the remaining shares. Two individuals, Nancy Waidera, an alternate director to Peter Oka Let, and Nurus Said Ahmed, are directors of the holding company. A web of ownership that raises questions as to what forces are behind the deal. Reports indicate highly placed politicians and business persons are behind the deal. It also emerges that there has been friction among the Social Health Authority, the Ministry of Health and a section of senior government advisors as to what should happen to the information management system necessary to roll out the universal health coverage. For a system valued at 104 billion shillings, there are questions as to how that will be financed, given that the government has not allocated the required resources, while shift contributions should ideally go towards financing members' benefits in hospitals and not financing tenders. Even then, the law allows the Social Health Authority to spend up to 5% of resources on administrative costs. Even if the authority were to access all the nearly 300 billion shilling worth of resources annually, 5% at 15 billion shillings would not be sufficient to pay employees, finance operations and still pay 10 billion shillings to the Safaricom Consortium every year. Given that uh, we wanted a proposal, somebody or a partner who is able to give the money up front, to invest the money up front, and then as we continue registering and as we continue providing service under the digital health ecosystem, we'll be able to be paying uh, in installments. Sam Gitukos, TV.